Hello there everybody and welcome to part one of the C Block Mod Pack Challenge. Here we are, sitting in the middle of nowhere. There are a lot of fishes and it's me. So the mod uh, this mod pack features a world that is uh pretty much completely water. I'm not over exaggerating, this place is pretty much a completely water. So the big difference uh, compared to the normal game is here that you don't have any resources to mine from the ground. The mod pack features a lot of resource processing out of the water and this is quite fun. So basically this run th playthrough will have the mods which you will find in the description below which are mostly some quality of life improvements and the rest of them are all the C block mod pack which is currently available in the downloader so you will also find the map seed I used in the description below as well but I think uh, well the map seeds are not that exciting here so to get anything going on this uh, wonderful uh, area, you have a certain amount of things which you start with, which were lying in that home of ours. And uh, let's get through the basics. So we're having uh, angels and um, bobs mods partially enabled. I just took that pack as it came because I didn't want to ask second questions how to put that together. The challenge in itself seemed quite fun to me. So I'm starting with sand, which is uh, basically landfill. Good thing, good news first, we can uh, produce sand on our own. We just need crushed stone for that. I just said it uh, out loud. I just need crushed stone for that. You'll understand the joke in a few minutes. So other, uh, other than that, there are pipings available to us burner generators which produce energy mining drills offshore pumps nothing too special we have gemstones which i'd have no clue what we're gonna need them later for i never have played bobs or angels mods too much so can't tell you folks so here we have sephirite ore and steratite ore these are basically things the world is made of here in this mod. Then we're having some recipe for bricks, not nothing too special. The metallurgy mod, so we can do copper plates out of styrotide and iron plates out of sephirite. Wonderful, that's the stuff we're gonna need. The other things here, um, well, definitely no clue when we're gonna hit that, but not in this episode. We're having a recipe for mineralized water, which will be very, very important in the future. We can produce some other things, but uh, let's go further. We're able to, to produce slag with this uh, recipe, which will also be important. Rubber, uh, definitely not going to hit that today. And a few other machines, which will help us to uh, gather the materials we need. Bioprocessing Animalis. I don't have any clue what this will be. We're going to discover this during the, uh, during the playthrough. And also, uh, this mod pack features um, the crafting of burning fuel out of nothing, basically. We're foraging for cellulose fibers and uh, we're processing those into uh, either uh, into wood pellets. There we go. And wood pellets are burnable fuel, so we can order to craft five of them because later we're definitely gonna need them. Okay, before we now start building ourselves something we can call home, please feel free to drop me comments down below if you have any questions concerning the mod pack or if there's anything I left out in the explanation you're interested about. Other than that, I would really enjoy if you leave me some likes or subscriptions to my channel to support me and my work. If none of those, just let me say thank you for watching this video. This is the most important thing to me. So, we're picking up the sand now, and I'm gonna uh, minify this a little bit. So, first things, I want to reach this island at some point, but my resources right now are rather limited. So, we're gonna drop down some uh, land around us to have something to begin with because right now we're really out in the open without anything okay 
really, really like the flair of this mod pack, which uh, produces a feeling that you have to create your own world completely. I do like this. Okay. So right now I'm just carefully uh, laying out a uh, square here, expanding the base. Uh, the space available a little bit just to make a few things happen we're gonna need in a moment okay let's, let, let's be a little bit less cautious here and I'm gonna connect this place here because I feel like this island is a nice uh, and cheap way of expanding my territory without using too many resources so okay I'm gonna leave some more la sand open for later, and, uh, well, do I need that hole? It's a little bit in the way, <laughs> but okay. So, how to get anything here? Um, we can basically extract minerals out of the water. This is a pretty uh, long-stretched process, which I'm gonna explain step by step here, and it all begins with a good old uh, offshore pump because without water we're not able to do anything so we need water I'm gonna be building the offshore pump here for now and also we're gonna need wind turbines to power up everything so I'm gonna drop down a few here oh, that was it's not like I wanted to do so let's do this here so we're having uh, this space um, used up for power generation and water okay oh well let's uh spend those fellas while we're having them okay never mind space is an issue here so i'm gonna leave it with that just realized how much space it'll use up and i don't know how quickly i will be able to craft sand in a bigger scale Okay, now then, let's grab up some po power poles over here, and, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, not gonna work like that, so, already did my first beginner mistake here, friends, these things can't work like that, okay, this, this will work, though. So, uh, the wind turbines are, uh, nastily having a, a variable power output so we're never gonna have the same power output the whole time which is quite annoying but well this is how it works this mod pack is not meant to make things easy for us and i love it for that okay next up on the plate i need some pipings um i'm gonna drop these down here Luckily, we're having a lot of pipings available to begin with, so I can just uh, drop this down here and let's expand that towards here. So now I have some access to water. Wonderful. So for beginners, anything, uh, nothing will uh, be produced without this recipe. So we're going to need an electrolyzer first. It'll all make sense in a moment. So we're going to build an electrolyzer, because um, if you check it out, it produces slag as well as oxygen and hydrogen gas. These gases are right now just uh, unwanted, uh, uh, not wanted byproducts, and we're going to burn them in this flare stack. So let's produce these two as well, because I won't be able to do anything without the ability to burn those gases filling up the pipes. Okay. Let's head over to this. So slag is a r ingredient which we can use to produce crushed stone with. And remember, crushed stone? That's the substance we can uh, ultimately, um, where was the recipe? Um, exactly there. Crushed stone is the substance we need to do mineralized water. And out of mineralized water, we can craft finally ores, which we can process. So. I love this. I saw that and I, and I immediately fell into love with the tediousness. Not gonna lie, I like that kind of stuff. 
So electrolyzer here. We're gonna configure it to this uh, dirt water electrolysis. Uh, it's, it sure sounds nasty. And uh, I don't know if I need to connect both pipes, but I will do. Okay, now we're having this and that. And also I'm using the squeeze through mod because in every challenge where I'm working with very, very confined space, I have, I, I can't bother with that. Okay, I'm sorry. To be not sorry. And now we connect those flare stacks onto that. And uh, these will, uh, these are connected to the uh, gas outputs. So the last thing we're needing now is just to connect this baby with power. And uh, flare stacks, of course, as well. Okay, so now our wind energy park is running, and uh, we're having trouble with keeping up. <laughs> Okay, friends, we're gonna need some of those. So I'm gonna expand the uh, wind turbine array here to uh, quicken things up a little here. Okay. So let's fill up this place. We're obviously needing it. But I sure have a quite uh, big um, stock of those, so we're gonna drop them now with a little bit of a distance in between each other. There we go. So they can uh, still drop down pole cords in between. And I also want a copy of them in my quick bar. Wait a sec. Okay. Now then, let's recheck the power grid. Still not enough. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, alright. So we're gonna expand this a little bit further. And then we have the power we need, I hope. So sand already is getting a little bit more scarce here. But, uh, it's no problem. Also, I'm having really many, many uh, wind turbines in my pocket, I have to say. That I got a royal stock of those to begin with. It's good. Alrighty. Let's recheck. Ah, there we go. We're only producing a little bit more than that, but at least we're producing more than that. So. There's slag, this valuable, valuable stuff we need now to produce crushed stone with it. This will happen in the burner ore crusher. And luckily we already have one of those, so we're gonna drop it down comfortably here, because I want to have uh, this spot where I'm forced to do manual, la manual labor at, right now at least, um, a little bit over there. So there we go. This thing is now producing finally this this precious stuff. So I also don't have enough resources to build another uh, electrolyzer. So <laughs> we're stuck with the amount of production we're having right now. But at least it's infinite. It's sustainable. So I mean, I don't want to complain too hard about that. Okay, now I'm having crushed stone which we're doing uh, mineralized water out of, uh, out of. We're gonna need the liquefier for that, so let's check out the liquefier. Luckily I'm having enough materials to build that stuff, but the mod pack gives you any, everything you need to build your own private island paradise. So, here we go, that's the liquefier. Um, the problem is that I won't be able to uh, produce an autom automated uh, input for this thing right now because they don't he ha even have belts <laughs> or inserters to begin with. Or logistics is like this. I'm gonna need uh, research <laughs> in form of crushed steratide. We're gonna do research in a very, very interesting way in this... Uh, in this mod pack. I'm really looking forward to it already. Okay, so we're gonna keep uh, burning slag 
So I'm gonna drop this stuff down here into the quick bar. And uh, also, I think it is a smart thing to start crafting those wood pellets wherever we can. Because, honestly, obviously I need a lot of those. So, next step. We're gonna be producing mineralized water. So, I'm bringing up a water input input to this. Input. Love it. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna need is crushed stone. I'm gonna put this into the quick bar as well. And voila! This place is building mineralized water. So, mineralized water on its own is still quite useless. But you can produce mineralized... Uh, what? You can produce the ores quite directly in the crystallizer. There we go. The crystallizer is now the last step of our production chain. So let's uh, kick out the pellet production for a moment. And I'm gonna be removing my wonderful home rock now because it is utterly in my way. Sadly, sadly, I don't get it into my inventory. I would have loved to. It's looking so cozy. Okay, I'm directly connecting this plant to the uh, liquefier because why not? Because it's gonna get fed quite directly. And here we have it, friends. Or real or. So that's um, that's how you do ore in uh, the C block challenge with the checkout or uh, electric network. It's quite cool with uh, the stuff we're doing. So from here on, things will get a little bit uh, less complicated for a moment at least because we're just collecting that stuff. Okay, um, to start the research. Some technology is already being researched. I guess I will need some sort of laboratory or such. I actually didn't check on that part yet. So let's uh, see what we're... Where are we able to do research? I don't have a clue, actually. Hmm. So crushed stereotype. Maybe it'll just uh, happen when I... Uh, use the stuff, or have the stuff actually, sorry, got a little bit uh, confused for a sec there, so okay, we're having uh, some manual production cycle, okay, let's uh, crush some stereotype, let's go, because I mean, this uh, research will give me the ability to build a lot of other useful things we're gonna need, Yeah, there we go. So, uh... <laughs> okay, that's the research rework for this mod. I get it now. Oh, I also... Ah, that's why we're not working anymore. I was wondering what happened there. Okay, now we're having the ability to craft more wonderful things. Let's check them out. I'm gonna go into the research menu because this is way more comfortable. So we can now do circuit boards, copper cables, an algae farm. That sounds like something we're gonna need. Brown algae, which are made out of saline water. And uh, ah, we're making saline water by producing purified water. Okay, so there's a hydro plant available now, a clarifier. Perhaps you get to get rid of all the water you don't want. Okay, that's a water sink. Alrighty, so the next step will be to have a production of other things which are um, necessary for this. Okay. So we're gonna need what? Let's check out the LJ farm. I really like to uh, go in this manner in mod packs like these to uh, just build one of uh, every new building and check out how they are combined. If you have ever trouble uh, on proceeding in complicated mod packs, this is how I do it. So uh, the brown LJ, where are, what, what do I need them for? Like, what's this? What's the purpose of these things? We're doing algenic acid out of that, okay, but uh, what, 
what up next so we're doing cellulose pulp out of algenic acid and we're doing water out of cellulose pulp and we're doing wooden boards out of paper and there were there's some there's a there's this the cycle closing so long story short we need this uh, whole production uh, circle to get towards our next research project which will be the basic circuit board we need to produce five of them and then we're gonna get final access to proper logistic and as you can see the game proceeds uh, on and on like this before we finally hit real research like the way we're used to do research so this is still a long way to get there so for now I can only pick up a few materials and keep grinding um there we go so no the slag goes in here the uh, crushed stone goes in here and there we go so overall I feel like I really want to uh, have another array of slack production because honestly this is just taking way too long so we're gonna see another electrolyzer no problem um and that's basically all I would need to produce more slag the uh What's up? What up with the flare stacks, though? The flare stacks will need a few more iron pipings, and that's the only thing where I'm not sufficiently equipped. So no chance. Nah, uh we're not able to do iron pipings right now, which are necessary to do that. So we're forced to do it with just one machine. Thank you, mod maker. You are certainly a cruel person. I like you for that. Okay. So no chance to uh, to uh, speeden things up. In this way so right now I'm just picking up the ores necessary um, to smelter with so we're gonna drop down uh, or first furnace and the next steps will be to figure out how to feed the LJ farm I already have the necessary uh, products so we're gonna drop down the uh, hydro plant for a moment which will ultimately produce saline water for us and with the saline water we're gonna feed the lj farm so um whoops let's check out the relations between each other i'm gonna be whoops need to configure them of course so let's use the uh max rate calculator and uh this machine will luckily over okay we only need these two machines to produce the lj so we're having a surplus of saline water i was uh, afraid for a moment that we're gonna be stuck with that okay that's quite easy overall to achieve the only uh real uh annoying thing here is to manually uh craft all these ores okay now then i have sephirite ore and stereotide ore i need more than anything the copper plates which are refined out of crushed stereotide oh i love it okay stereotide ore crushing by hand Alrighty. so crushed stereotide we're gonna drop that down here as well so in between or work here i'm gonna smelter some of this okay now then i'm creating myself a little platform here uh oops slipped where i will produce the lj on and uh let's see so we're now officially out of sand so the island expansion has stopped but since i am now able to uh, produce the stuff on my own because crushed stone is not a problem anymore i am uh not as uh, um scared anymore to use all the stuff so i really want some automized uh stereotype ore crushing so we're gonna be setting up the ore crushers two more of them actually so let's do that 
stop the uh, pellet production for a moment. I just keep producing those uh, in between because I really need that stuff. Okay, but at this point I'm able to produce everything I need, basically. So we're gonna do the steratite ore crushing right here. And the uh, sephirite ore crushing right here. So this way I'm having the ability to uh, do these things a little bit more automated. Okay. So just uh just getting myself uh here uh into the uh grind. Okay, so there goes the slag, there goes the crushed stone, there goes this uh wait a sec. It's the crushed stereotype. I'm gonna uh remove that from this routine. So there we go. I'm gonna do the uh crushed materials somewhere else, so that's the sephirite ore, that's the stereotide ore. Okay, just uh, putting things real quickly into an order which I can work with. So... It's the crushed materials, these will be smeltered, and uh, there we go. Okay, this makes sense in some way, at least to me, and that's enough. Okay, we're gonna use the array we have now available. So we're gonna drop down the LJ farm first, and I'm gonna drop it down here because I feel like I want to distance these a little bit from each other. And then we're gonna drop down the hydro plant more somewhere here. And how big is that clarifier? It's uh, not too huge. Okay then, I'm gonna be Enabling the recipes here, and that's the brown LJ. So, we're having uh, saline water and purified water. This is the water input, so uh, yeah, now I get it. Let's uh, connect the pipes and connect the power. We're gonna connect the saline water uh, input with this here, and I'm gonna connect the clarifier right here, so the purified water will immediately get destroyed. So, now then, let's give this beast some energy. There we go. So, the cycle is now working. We're producing LJ. Wonderful. Let's take some moment and let's check out the uh, power grid and just like I have thought oh I can actually I don't need to bother with that I have I have cheats I have cheats enabled no, just kidding I really like to have uh... <laughs> oh my goodness so getting new space is really not that easy <laughs> oh well I just uh, realized how long it'll take to expand this array okay that means, for now, I'm just going to use the area I'm already having. And uh, we're definitely going to produce sand in between everything. Okay, now then. Let's keep going. I mean, I can at least produce more sand while the LJ are being produced. So now I'm having brown LJ. From here on, I think everything should was quite easy to determine. Um, we're, we can do alginic acid out of that. We can do cellulose pulp out of that. And we're just gonna handcraft this for a moment. So, uh, but basically, where are they? Oh, we're still needing copper cable. I get it. Okay. So I'm gonna need some more, uh, some more ore, right? So let's stop wasting that crushed stone into sand. And, uh, ugh, keep forgetting which one was for copper. Copper was made out of steratite, okay. There we go. Because I'll need some more copper cables for sure. In between there, I'll just... Yeah. We're gonna produce some wooden boards here. 
then we're almost set for our first electric circuits. Where are they? There we are. Basic circuit boards incoming. Wonderful. We're going to start that research now, so the first five of them will get sacrificed to the god of progress. And then, my friends, we're going to be finally a step closer to I don't know what. So, sephirite ore and stereotite ore are getting dumped in here. Stone cr crushed stones are getting dumped in here. Wow, this is such a painful, slowly process, and we're getting I'm getting the whole the um wrong ores the whole time. I want copper, but I'm not getting any. <laughs> ah, this is some but at least I'm getting uh, crushed stone out of all of these, so it's not uh, exclusively um out of the um what's it called? Um slag. So that's at least something some minor uh, relief in all of this. But at least I'm slowly getting somewhere. So, my friends, I'm gonna continue this episode until we're having uh, researched the basic circuit board, and from there on I will uh, pack everything into the next episode, because I need to check out the progress there. I, uh, I got a little bit thrown off uh, stance there with the research for a moment and I realized that I want to check out how things are done a moment before uh, the next episode because this mod pack is awesome, really enjoying this so much. Thanks for recommending it, dear friend, you know who, you're certainly watching this. We're gonna enjoy this one, it's a royal pain in the rear and I like it. Honestly, I really like tedium at some point. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, do I have enough materials now? There we go. Yes, I do! So, friends, witness! Witness progress. <laughs> there we go. Yay! We have finished our research! Okay, friends, so the next thing will be wood processing. We need to produce green LJ for that, but this is going to be part of the next episode. So far, it's going to... I'm, I'm realizing that I'm going to have so much fun here. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. So, uh, yeah, feel free to leave me some feedback. I would appreciate that a lot. Until then, I just hope you come back for the next episode when we're claiming this island paradise a little bit further. Until then, take care, stay healthy, and goodbye.